wanted to do a quick um, little video clip. Um, I see a lot of questions on our group about uh, grooming and brushing and combing your snails or especially their beard. And I just wanted to give you some tips. I've I've self-taught myself to groom my four girls and um, all four of them are really good and and I think it's a lot of that comes from just um, working with them a lot. Um, I wash their beards daily and when I say I wash them I just take a, a wet soppy washcloth and wash um, I wash like right up here around their eyes where they get the crusties and and I wash around their mouth where they um, eat and um, then once a day I, I comb through their beard too and that keeps if you do it daily it keeps uh, the beard from uh, developing mats and and mats are really hard on them when you go to uh, when you try to get the mats out and and I know a lot of people say just clip the mats out with scissors but I have to admit that I did that one time on Bella here and when I was when she was a pup and I didn't know any better and I actually cut her with the scissors and I had to take her to the vet so I'm I'm I don't suggest that you use scissors to cut mats out. It's best to work them out. And actually it's best not to to let mats form. Um, and then if you do get a mat to comb it out. Anyway, I was gonna demonstrate how we how we uh, brush and, and comb through their beards every day. These are the two things I use. I use um, one of these slicker brushes. And uh, if you get a better quality one, they're not sharp on the edges. And if you take it across your own skin, you can kind of see about how much pressure you can put on before it's uncomfortable. And then the other thing I use is this um, metal comb. It has uh, the wider teeth at the end and the, the more uh, closer teeth at the other side. Anyway, what I usually do is I'll usually just take the, the slicker comb and I just give it a real gentle brushing all around. You can even kind of pick the beard up a little bit to get underneath in the layers. Bella has uh, what they call a mega coat, so she's got some some massive hair here and she can develop mats pretty easily. Um, so anyway, two of my girls have the mega coat, so I have two with the, the regular schnauzer coat and then two with this mega coat, so I get a lot of experience. So anyway, I use the I use the slicker brush first, and then I take the wide end of my comb, and I basically just, usually what I do first is I start down here, and I just give it a quick run through, and then on each side. And be really careful when you're combing up here around their eyes, because you don't want to poke their eyes. And like right there, it kind of got a little tough to pull the comb through, so I just gently kind of work through that. And um, Bella doesn't have any mats, but I wanted to show you how I would work one out. What I would do is I would kind of, like if she had a mat right here, I'd grab it up here and I'd just kind of take it and just kind of slice through it with the comb until I got through. That way you're not pulling on the skin and uh, you're, you're working the mat out. So then after I do that, then I take the narrow teeth and I run through it again just to make sure that I haven't missed anything. You got to make sure you get through all the layers too because if you just do the top layer then underneath the mats are going to just continue to get worse. Isn't that right Bella? And I'm such a pretty girl. All right guys if you have any questions post them below. Thanks.